Welcome to Primary Sabbath School, boys and girls. This week's lesson is about Israel in the wilderness. Here we are in Nashville, Tennessee. But if we could travel across the Atlantic to the northern part of Africa, we would be in Egypt, which is where today's story begins. As you can see, the red line shows Egypt where the children of Israel started their freedom journey from Egypt. And then they traveled along this long, windy red road. Not really a road, but it's a map of their path until they reached Canaan. If they had gone straight from Egypt to Canaan, it would have just been a few weeks. But it ended up being years because the people disobeyed and complained. And that is kind of what today's story is about. Plus, how God was faithful all the while. Dude, I'm starving. Do you have any snacks? No, I don't have any snacks. And we literally just ate, so you're not starving. Well, I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. That's what I mean. I'm just bored. Okay, well then, you're not starving. Starving is like without eating in days. For example, like the children of Israel in the desert. They were starving. This next story is about God delivering the Israelites out of Egypt. We find them in the desert hot and tired. Yes, I checked. This is the last of our dough from Egypt. There's no Walmart or Kroger to buy anything from. I don't think there's even such a thing. Well, I can't believe we're here. Why are we even here? It's like desert, it's hot, it's miserable. In Egypt, we had more food. We had houses, we had our shade. Why didn't Moses... Why did Moses bring us here? Mm -hmm. uh, there's no houses. If we had an idiot. Oh, oh man, so it's hot. so hot. I literally can drink a whole Gatorade. I don't think <gasps> there's even such a thing. Well, you know what I mean. I am so hot, I can drink a well. There's literally no shade in this. Hey. It's a bit of flop. Oh, cloud. A cloud. A cloud. Ooh, That's okay. Good. Wait, dude. Wait, it's the following cloud's us. following us. Because since there's no cloud back what? there. Oh! God sent it. it here to bring a shade. Mm, He's so cool. good. Not only did he send a, a cloud in the day, he sent it a pillar of fire, fire in the night. The fire kept them warm and and protected them from animals. And the the cloud kept them shade and not hot. After God gave them shade, um, they complained about food and they still didn't trust God. I can literally eat a haystack right now. Wait, is that even a thing? Haystack. Are we gonna stop? Let's stop here. I'm so thirsty. Wish there's like a oasis around here. So God gave a message to Moses for the people. In the morning, In the morning you will see, see that, that God, God will provide, provide food. food. Uh, is, so God is really gonna provide food for us? Like a grab hug delivery? That's not a thing. Well, you get what I mean. Look at this place. There's nothing out here in like the middle of nowhere. He's not going to provide food for us in the middle of nowhere. However, when they woke in the morning, they found that God had kept his promise. They found manna. Manna, according to Mr. Lopez, means what is it? Which is exactly what they were thinking as they stared at this little white stuff all over the ground. However, as soon as they tasted it, they realized that when God keeps his promises, he does it in a wonderful way. 
Manna was delicious, and it was a lot of it, enough for everyone to get full. God sent the manna every day except for Sabbath day. He wanted them to learn that Sabbath is special. So on Friday, they had to get two times as much of manna. <laughs> because Sabbath, we don't work. We rest and spend time with Jesus. It's true back then, and it's still true today. What are you looking for? Manna! Really? Yay. Yesterday, we were supposed to collect double. So today, so today, we don't have to work. Why? Because today is God's day. That's where we rest and have time with God. Oh, so that's what... I didn't... Well, I wasn't listening correctly. Mine? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So... Just to make sure, Friday is for preparing, for preparing, and Sabbath is for worshiping God. Oh, now you I got get it. it. See, boys and girls, God was faithful, even though they were so slow to learn. So in this story, we find the children of Israel right after God saves them from Egypt. So God performs like the Red Sea miracle, and so that built their trust, but not to the point where they could trust trust us trust them to their point to the point of death. So God had to prove that um that they, he would perform some miracles. Like um like the pillar and cloud, um the shade by day and the fire by night to keep them warm and away from animals. And then there was the manna. The manna helped them um, they eat, they eat. Yeah, they're starving. They were hungry, and then the mm -hmm. manna came, and they filled their bellies. Yeah. The manna yeah. also taught, taught them about, about Sabbath. Sabbath. Hey, dude, now you have any snacks? Wow. No, we're actually going to have supper. Come on.